Nate Roos from the band Fun just finished his first solo album entitled Grand Romantic. So why did he decide to go solo? Tell me, how does one decide to go solo? When is the right time to go solo? I felt like I had accomplished things in fun that I had never, ever dreamed of, of possibly ever accomplishing. And, and it had been 15 years since I'd been in band, so I wanted the opportunity just to take a break and um, see what, what life was like just kind of doing, doing it by myself. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of times with my songwriting, I get super personal. In this album, I was, I was particularly personal, and it, it felt just it just felt like the right time. I mean, I, I like a good challenge uh, as much as I like to be in, inspired. I mean, I'm inspired by challenge. So, so I think those all a culmination of all those things. I wanna rest in your life. Nate Roos has several number one hits with his band Fun, but which was easier, writing for a solo album or writing with a band? What's harder, writing a solo album or writing an album as a band? They both have their their like their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, I've been lucky. The, the guys in Fun are amazing, <clears throat> amazing creative people, and uh, and they've done a great job of like taking these these songs and helping bring them to life. And uh, and on even on some nights I'd worked with um, these producers Jeff Basker and Emil Haney, and, and I'd always just had a great time with them. So it never really feels too much like a solo album. I can't play any instruments. I just hear songs <laughs> in my head, yeah. and then have to. It's it's really up to the people in the room to not only understand them, but then kind of make them their own. And, and, uh, and Jeff has done, since, since he and I went in and did We Are Young, uh, initially, like the, the very first day, we've just had this amazing uh, connection. Nate Roos has been in two bands, The Format and Fun, for his entire musical career until now. What's the best thing about being a solo artist? Find out what Nate Roos means when he says he's enjoying himself. So what's one of the best things about being a solo artist? Uh, it just you're you are dependent on your own schedule. So there's there's just something nice about it. But I am, I'm nothing without love. Plus, I'm just at a point in my life where I, I feel very uh, comfortable in my own skin, and and like uh, it, it, I don't know. It's just it's 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 kind of I've never enjoyed myself as much as now. So I'm spending some extra time with myself. Nate Bruce has always drawn inspiration from his bandmates for songwriting, but for his new album, Grand Romantic, the inspiration came at a random time. What was it? I read that a lot of the songs you, for this album you had originally wrote for fun. So what, what kind of made you want to take them for your own project versus on a new fun album? It felt like the right time. I mean, I can get precious uh, about it, but it's not something that I spend like three years before in between albums. I usually compile a list of songs about a month before we're supposed to go in the studio and then start working on them. And on th this time, I just got inspired at the most random of times. Really? And it happened to have been a time that I was pretty much just like alone. Interesting. By yourself with your thoughts, the scariest time. Scariest time for me, at least. No, 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 <laughs> I'm with you. I'm like, yeah. I said, but that's the cool thing is like, I was like super freaked out by them and, and therefore felt the need to really get into them. No, 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 hey, no, no, no. Nate Bruce was first signed to a record label as a teenager with his band The Format. What advice would he give his 18-year-old self? In high school, I was obsessed with The Format. Nice. And so my best friend, Louisa, shout out to you. I will never forget our love. That's what we bonded over. When you look back at, at Nate in, in uh, The Format, what, would you, what advice would you give him back then? We made our first album. We got signed to a major label when we were, I think, 18 or 19 years old. And we thought that so, like suddenly we were going to be this big, huge hit band and all this stuff was going to happen. And the label just dropped us after the first album. And we got really precious about, about songwriting, which was the most important thing. It wasn't about having a hit song. It was making complete albums. I'm, I consider myself an album writer, not a songwriter. I learned that in the format. And we learned that you know, the way to find people is to play live. And, and to be true to yourself. I think I was annoying at the time, though, for sure. If I could go back in time, I'd just be like, stop talking. <laughs> Some would say that I'm all alone, but I... Nate Gruz explains why he doesn't keep photos in his house. So why doesn't he like looking back? So let's talk about your relationship with Charlotte Ronson. Did she inspire this album at all, like when you guys? Yeah, I think, well, all my, I, I, I my songs are kind of like a, a mixed pot of, of emotions. I don't take pictures, like I don't have pictures in my house or anything like that. Um, you don't? No, no, no. I, I, no I, pictures? I don't look back, ever. 
Um, Interesting. I, and so I think songs are my way of looking back. So they're kind of like your photo album is in your album. Absolutely, yeah, they are my photo album. And, and I think Charlotte, yeah, she was she, she was a, a, an amazing, just beautiful part of that. And and you know, I had something that that with this album I, I've never felt before, and I, I can't help but feel like someone that I've never felt that way about before is 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 directly responsible for that. Nate Bruce co-wrote "Just Give Me a Reason" with Pink, but why didn't he want to be a singer on the track? You worked with Pink on Just Give Me a Reason. Do you think that helped um, people find out who Nate Bruce is? Definitely, I mean, just, just based upon what the, the reach that the song had. I don't do very well with sitting in a room and writing with people. I usually have to come, like, bring in a song, and I just started singing the song. I don't even know where it came from. At one point I said, just give me a reason. And Alicia did an amazing job of, of coming up with lyrics. I thought we had a beautiful song and the next day she was like, I want to make this a duet. And I was like, that's a great idea. Who are we going to get to sing it? And she's like, I really want you to sing it. And, and I just, I didn't feel comfortable doing something like that. I, like I said, I'd been in a band my whole entire life. Um, so it felt strange to step away from that. I just learned, you know, she's survived for 15 years and same thing goes with, with working with Eminem. They don't do what's expected of them. They just, they go where, where the, their heart like leads them. <laughs> 